Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. Today I want to share a beautiful Saturday recipe with you guys and this is no other but gray snapper. I'm going to prepare this and show you guys step by step how delicious and easy we will be preparing these gray snapper. And today I'm not using the fillet. I'm using the slices with bone in because I find that they have a lot of flavor with the bones in. I just wash these up and you can see they're very, very nice. When the fish is formed like this, you know that it is a good piece of fish. I am gonna prepare some roasted Brussels sprout and I'm cooking some dainty wild rice. And this is the long grain wild rice. And this rice, is very healthy for you, easy to prepare, and you can nice it up and dress it up in many, many different ways. So if you guys wanna see this recipe that I'm making today, and this is how it looks, I'm gonna open it, and I'll show you how it looks when I take it out the bag. This is one delicious recipe, and my family always enjoy it, so I would like to share it with you guys. So I, Cut my Brussels sprouts in halves. And before I prepare the fish, I'm gonna put this into the oven. Very, very simple ingredients. I am gonna add some olive oil on top for flavor and to avoid any sticking. We're not cooking these too long, just to get a little bit of that oven roasted flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. And you can add any seasoning of your choice. So we won't be adding salt in here. And then a little bit of onion powder. In the oven it goes. And we will cook this about 20 minutes to 25. In a we will cook it in a 300 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna prepare our simple recipe gray snapper today. I have them wash and I dry them with some paper towel. In this little bowl here, I have some lemon pepper and that's the only ingredient we're gonna use on the fish today. And it's it's gonna be an amazing flavor because lemon goes very well with seafood. I'm gonna flip these babies and then I will do the same on both sides. You can also use red snapper or any fish of your choice. I really like the flavor and taste of the gray snapper. So I'm just gonna mix that in, let it sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll start prepare the fish. So I have about three tablespoons of butter into my pan. We're gonna cook this fish in butter. I'm gonna do two at a time because I don't wanna crowd the pan up. I'm gonna let it cook about three minutes on that side and then I'm gonna flip it another three minutes on the other side and we're gonna finish these in the oven but that's all the ingredients the lemon pepper and butter and this is gonna give us an amazing beautiful delicious gray snapper today so let's flip the fish now that's three minutes on one side wow they are looking absolutely amazing 
Oops. And I want to put them. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And if you don't want to cook fish too long, so just, and I'm timing them three minutes on the other side, I will finish them in the oven to get a nice crust on the top. And we're going to add our final touch after the fish, fish is finished cooking in the butter. So I didn't dust the fish with flour. We're just cooking it in its natural flavor along with the lemon pepper. And I'm going to, while it's cooking, I'm just going to baste it so it keeps all the moisture in the fish. And it will, we will get a beautiful result when it's done. So it's been three minutes again and I'm going to take out these babies. And I have to be careful because they're very tender at this point. Let me get up now. So we're going to take it out like this. It's a better idea. And I'm going to put it in the baking dish. I'll show you guys. And I'm going to put the other three pieces now to cook. So let's add those in. So three more minutes and then we'll come back. We're cooking on medium heat. So now that I've finished frying the fish, all the goodness in the pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of honey and we're going to add a few pieces of lemon into this. Lemon goes well with fish and we're going to do a quick saute here. Just like this, just mixing that butter and the honey and the lemon together. And we're going to put this over the fish and add it into the oven for 10 minutes. So I'm going to take out those lemon pieces and just rest them on the fish. And this smells amazing, like a restaurant in my house, in my kitchen. I'm just going to put this here and then we'll place the lemon pieces on the fish. And we're going to just drizzle that goodness on top here in goes the fish into the oven so we can cook them right through for 10 minutes and then this will be ready so here is our beautiful gray snapper cooked in lemon pepper some fresh lemon a little splash of honey and some butter amazing and delicious looking fish so I'm going to serve it up with my wild rice and some Brussels sprout. Before I serve up this dish, I did this special dish and recipe for Sister Donna because today she is celebrating her birthday. I met Sister Donna on this channel. She made a lot of my recipe. She became my big sister family to my family. And she's an amazing woman. So today, while I prepared this dish, it was all done for her. Unfortunately, she's living in the US and I'm living in Canada. So I will have to eat the food for her. But we have something a little bit special going on here for Sister Donna. So Natalie will be playing Happy Birthday on her keyboard for Sister Donna before I do the taste test. So happy birthday, Sister Donna, from me and my family and also the YouTube family. We wish you a blessed day, many happy return of this day with good health and strength and God's amazing blessing upon your life. 
and may all your dreams and heart desires come true. Natalie said she made a hot air balloon because she's coming to get you today for your birthday. And happy birthday, Sister Donna. Natalie, say happy birthday. Happy birthday. And so now this dinner was made and prepared with love for Sister Donna. I made the gray snapper. I made some wild rice and some vegetable. I will be posting the recipe for the wild rice tomorrow. But I want to go in now for the fish. And I want to show this fish is cooked to perfection. And it is very nice and tender. And it is, look at that very well done so flaky in the inside and really really nice and brown on the outside is still hot and we have our lemon to go with that perfect way and I know sister Donna really love fish so that's why this was on the menu today I'm gonna take my mouthful first one goes to sister Donna cheers guys Wow. If she was here to taste this, I know you would enjoy this dish. And I'm going to do a taste now for all the viewers. This is your mouthful. What a beautiful combination. The fish have that garlicky, lemony flavor with a little hint of the honey. It's cooked nice and soft and flaky in the inside. And the rice complements it very well with the rest of the veggies. I'm going to have a wonderful dinner today. So I want to say to you guys, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, if you haven't seen our collaboration that just happened this Monday, finish this this Saturday here, we did a Guyanese Six Rays collaboration, a little bit of food and culture. Please check it out. It's um, starting with me, Charmin's Kitchen. Um, the second person that went is Caribbean Duck. Please check him out and show him some love. Uh, we had Cooking with Ash, um, Hook and Cook Ray Life, Nikki and Family, and today Rocky, Being Rocky ended off. Please remember to check those videos out and show those YouTubers, some love and support. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye for now.